Good day, everybody. It's Kyle. It's, today is Saturday, February 17th, 2024. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I just made it back to Saskatchewan yesterday evening from Alberta. Um, so, yeah, got the next week off of school, the reading week, as it's called. Um, so, anyways, get a bit of ranching in, get a bit of studying in, because, you know, got a couple midterms coming up in the near future too but anyways um it has been close to two weeks since i've been here so i'll give you a quick update on what's going on the snow has returned which is seasonal to be expected it's fine um there's a high of like zero or like minus five or something today However, it is more like about minus 20 because it's windy and I suspect that this wind will continue for most, like it's supposed to be warm air temperature for most of the week, but the wind's gonna stay. So like, it's gonna be cool. Um, Dad went and bought a cool new thing the other day. This is a calf catcher that goes on a four wheeler. Uh, I bought this one second hand. It is gently used though. Um, it sounded like the guy only used it for a year or two. Um, so yeah, this device mounts to the side of the four wheeler. Pretty sure it goes to the right hand side. Um, maybe not, maybe it goes to the left hand side. I don't know. I don't know. It's got some, it's got a gate or maybe two. this to catch your calf pretty neat there you go cross heels Tabor Alberta so yeah and then there's all the mounting and stuff for it so there might be another uh, four-wheeler coming that dad might get that we could mount this to and uh, then you can have one that's just dedicated to the calf catcher so you're not hooking and unhooking it all the time. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty handy. We have Nico Dog from Supervisor. Hi, puppy. Come in, pop. Nico. Bye bye, pop. So, one of the things we're going to do today is uh, bed the cattle. However, first off, I need to take a look at the air ride seat in the 2096 here. Um, because what happens, so I think, is it live now? Yeah. So you pump it up. And as fast as you pump it up, it falls down. So um, I talked to the guy that sold us this seat and he says it could be um, a line falling off or punctured um, since it's losing air so fast so we're gonna pull that apart I guess see what we can see I'm not much of an air ride seat mechanic but this is how you learn to be an air ride seat mechanic. You just start tearing things apart and see what doesn't look like it's supposed to be. And yeah, so hopefully it's a simple fix, but we will find out. And it's going to be difficult to get in there considering there's not a lot of room to take chairs apart. But yeah, kind of want that fixed. So anyways, we shall... We shall inspect the new treasures here, whatever those blue things are. And I don't know. I don't know. But we gotta get the tunes pumping here. Well, it's probably about 9.30 or 10 in the morning now. Um, I took a quick break from the uh, tractor seat project. Uh, come check on the water bowls for the cattle 
um, and we got to do a little bit of repairs here um, if you're wondering dad is working on house renovations today uh, putting in some new kitchen flooring and stuff so I don't really have a lot of interest in doing house renovations which is why I came outside to do ranch stuff so yeah and then once that's finished we can work on ranch projects together so yeah um anyways so actually i i keep when i was out here that's my bottle of soapy water so i figured i just set that in here to thaw out um while i'm working on this so yeah um dad said it's been trickling over the last few days like he's had to work on it so do you mind? <clears throat> I don't think that valve was closed off all the way. expecting that to be worse yeah sometimes little rocks or pebbles make their way into the line um, I don't know dad figures it's from when a water main breaks in town it might even be rust specks really from if there's some steel I don't really know um, but yeah you just clean it off sometimes these well it's got a little bump in it here so if it if it does it again and there's no spec on it then you have to replace the rubber piece and then sometimes these will crack and you have to replace them um, they used to be like three bucks PV mart but i think dad said they went up to some crazy amount <laughs> like everything goes up due to due to inflation but i don't need to sit on here and tell you all about that because every, you know you guys buy stuff too so yeah we'll put this back together real quick we'll have to keep an eye on it hopefully it don't uh, trickle over too much um, adjusted the float a bit maybe it was out of whack and maybe it wasn't whatever we'll see um, so yeah and the new water bowl the orange one it is working good the water levels good on it it's open Another thing, like the orange one sits more level than this one. Uh, this one, we're gonna have to find a way to level it out a bit because it's pointed down towards the north a bit. Um, but that is a not wintertime project, that's for sure. So, yep, uh, pack up our tools and back to the shop. <laughs> so this is where I'm at with this, cushion off. Uh, had to kind of detach the base from the whole tractor frame there. Got to take this piece of metal off next. Um, then we'll really be able to see what's going on. And yeah, hopefully it's something simple, but I guess we'll see. GoPro, stop recording. So here's what screwed up this little fitting. Um, I broke this blue piece trying to take it apart, but this is kind of loose-ish and it, if it's, if it sits the right way, it's good. But then if it, it goes like that, it's screwed up. So yeah, um, might be going to Dice Art to get a new piece. We shall see, just because he said he could send it probably in the mail, but then I won't. I have the tractor ripped apart all week, um, and then it would be not mobile, and it's not like I'm here all the time, and I don't need to leave this project tore apart for everyone else to fix. 
you know. Um. Okay, so we're on our way to Regina now. Uh, Richard, the fella that sold us that tractor seat, he's gonna meet me there and he's got the piece that I need. And then I also need to pick up a serpentine belt for mom's car because that screwed up this morning. A chunk came out of it and then it was flapping around making noise. So we gotta get that replaced before it totally snaps in half. Um, sorry, it's kinda shaky here. I guess this mode don't have much stabilization on the old iPhone. So, yep, a little, uh, go make those couple of errands quick. Hopefully make it back to the farm about 1.30ish. So, yep, handy dandy. Okay, I'm not going to turn the radio down. I'm not going to get the GoPro. We have success. The new elbow is in. I think the line might have been a little bit too long um so when things were f like it's hard to explain but it makes sense if you know what i mean you know when the line's too long it puts too much um pressure on that elbow like too much pressure going that way and that's might have been what caused it to fail um yeah so it's just a 90 degree bend and it's got that little pullback tab for airline. Um, I have a feeling that that's probably a common like common part in like semis and stuff that uses air. Um, so I was saying to dad, it might, might not be a bad idea. Maybe if, I don't know, Princess Auto might have stuff like this, like airlines, elbows, just random stuff like that. Um, you know, then you could have a couple bits and bobs on hand, so yeah and i the old one had an o-ring so i found an o-ring in one of those princess auto kits that fits there and that makes it seal up good um if i take my well uh, if i take my soapy water i cannot find any leaks so that's really good to see um so now we got to put the cushion back on the slide rails all that um and then put the shop back together and go shred some bales so yeah i mean it's been you know it's it's taken a bit of my day to get this done but it's one of those things you know um i've never tore into an air seat before so it's a learning experience um and you know it's good that like now i got an idea of what the inside looks like oh yeah buddy Still holding there, good. Yep.
think it will go up a bit. Ah, I love a good plug, it's radiator and air filter and all that racket. This may be coming up this week. I can work on this fence here by the road, the good old 13 year fence project. But we'll see.
I'll bring two more bales of straw out. And then that'll be it for this. And all I gotta do is move the bowls back. And then uh, after supper, probably come and fork straw in the barn. Or maybe we'll just hang out and do nothing. I don't really know. See where the wind blows a guy. So, yep. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, there we go. It's uh, 10 after 10. I didn't.